Yo, what it do to J Gang, man, how are y'all doing today? I hope everybody, of course, is having a wonderful day Because y'all already know how we do it over here, man Good vibes, positive vibes only Y'all already know what to do Go ahead and smash that like button Slap it, do what you gotta do, man And go ahead and subscribe Because y'all already know I'm coming with another banger for you guys today man so a lot of y'all have been asking me how do i set up my camera in third person and first person for drifting well today i'm about to let y'all see that man because a lot of people don't see you see how when i'm drifting to the side you can kind of see the side of the side view of my car just a little bit a lot of people don't know how to set that up man so today i'm going to show you guys how to set that up and as well as i'm going to show you guys how to set up these nice neck effects so you have the nice little neck swivel as you're drifting you see man it's so so nice it makes it so so much better too that much more immersive and you know if you don't have vr man this is the closest thing you get to it you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah without further ado man let's get straight into this video so to get to our camera adjustments first gang we're gonna go up here again to the settings in our top right hand corner right behind my wheel cam we're gonna go to settings right over here, we're gonna look and we're gonna find a set of Corsa, right? In a set of Corsa, you see this chase camera menu right here. You're gonna click on that. Now, as y'all can see, my chase camera uh, for my um, settings for the distance, you can see it right here is 3.86. For the height, it's 2.07. And for the pitch, it's five degrees. And that's for my second camera not my first camera that you guys see on top of my car sometimes if you're in my live stream are you seeing the camera on top of my car yes now there's two ways to do that you can do it with the onboard settings which i'm going to show you guys in a minute or you can do it the way that i do it which here in the first you're going to look and it says distance zero height is at 1.62 and the pitch is at about two degrees so it's slightly pointed down so you can see the top of my hood here but yeah and you got to keep in mind too when you get in game it's going to be just a smidge more closer and more angled than it says up here in this uh this little display so just keep that in mind when you're tweaking this okay now you're also going to go down to where we have over here in custom shaders patch right and then you see chaser camera right here please activate this extension this extension actually helps it you know have that side view kind of swivel yes you want to activate this extension in custom shaders patch make sure you're running the basic script and these you can customize however you want to customize it it's all up to you but i definitely recommend activating this and putting basic as the script and one last thing okay over here in custom shaders patch you see neck effects right here in this you want to activate this neck effects please neck please please activate this right now you can see my settings here my personal settings for my apexes so this is looking ahead looking at the apexes so when you're coming around the turns your guy kind of follows that ape it looks at the height of that turn it kind of tilts towards it a little bit now i have it affect gain on kind of 20 ish percent but really i think i'm going to bring this down to about nine or ten let's go ahead and make it ten we're gonna make that down nine or ten you don't want too much of that uh looking at the apex you don't want to follow it too much because it's going to throw your drifting completely off and then for your direction alignment i also put the velocity at 52 and the steering at 52 okay this will also help when you're turning as you guys can see my wheel moves more and my neck kind of moves more that's what that does it enables you to kind of have that much more of a tilt or that much more of a swivel as you're drifting in first person view okay now these effects here are more for first person and then the other two for the chaser camera view those are for the third person right now let's go into drive and let me show you guys the last final tool that i use in order to have my anaceta corsa look how it is when i'm drifting so the last final tool in game that i'm going to be showing you guys if you go over, ooh, let's get out of here because it kind of is a little loud but let's go over here to our menu right in the top right hand corner and we're going to go down to where it says onboard settings right here okay it has a symbol of somebody with the with the helmet on obviously and you can also see it right here too it's also embedded on my you know on my easy tabs over here in my menu but yeah we're going to go ahead and just hit the onboard settings right now remember to switch the first person camera okay 
in here you can see that the fov kind of changes how much frame of view you have okay my personal preference is the standard where it's already at which is 67. the seat position changes whether you're seated more closer to the wheel or more further away now it does not alter the frame of view keep that in mind it kind of does a little bit but it's not the fov setting okay your seat position how close and how further away you are from the wheel now the pitch adjusts how much you look up and how much you look down me personally i kind of want these to be down just a little bit because i like to see my guys shift sometimes so that's always nice you know but this also right here this adjusts how high how low how left and how right your head is okay so if you want to you can move this all the way over to the other side of the car and have a passenger view while you're driving you know it's that sick okay it's that that sick but yes i want to thank y'all so so much for watching man oh don't forget to to reset it if you don't like it go ahead and reset back to where it was but yeah as y'all can see i tweaked it just a little bit <laughs> but yeah thank y'all so so much for watching i appreciate y'all so much if y'all found this video very very helpful please go ahead and slap that like button go ahead and subscribe thank you again man oh my gosh guys we are so close man we're approaching our 1k goal okay we're not that close but we are approaching it we're flying through the 700 subscriber range like it's nothing i want to thank every each and one of y'all so much man i want y'all to stay sideways stay solid and stay groovy out there i'm gonna see y'all the next one you dig peace oh yeah don't forget to hit that save can't forget that <laughs>